What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another episode of Gormo Gang. Today we've got our kind of long awaited long episode. We have got a lot of packs to open, we've got a lot of SBCs to do so we're going to hop straight into it. But if you are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know do you like these long form videos. If you do we can sort them more out in the future. If not we can go back to normal 15-20 minute videos, that is not a problem. But Today it is just going to be solely pack opening, there won't be 6pm content because I don't have enough time to get it recorded, but to start today's video, we was going to do the icon pick to start the video, however, I've decided that because we've got so many packs to open, it would make more sense if we kind of, I've got the team sort of pre-built, and so because of that, it means that we can already get rid of one of the duplicate cards, the 85 rated team is ready to submit, so... We get another gold players pack back from this, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, today is going to be, we are going to have the icon pick done, no matter what. Even if we don't get another duplicate for the next however many packs, we will make sure to obviously go ahead and complete the icon pick. Hopefully, some accusable to put into the team. Preferably, I'd like a centre-back, something like a Nesta, um, Maldini, trying to think of i don't actually think nesta's in the game anymore it would be cannavaro maldini and um, desai would be quite a good one so there's a few cards that i'd like obviously we'll have to see if we get any sort of duplicate cards i think we're just going to have to be discarding a lot today unless maybe we get like three or more then we'll go and do a two-player pack but the problem is right now obviously for me there is no upgrade packs at 6 p.m. tonight. There probably will be six. Um, there probably will be upgrade packs to do at 6 p.m. But we'll have to see. But today's sort of topic of discussion is going to end up being a lot of FIFA 22 stuff. There's a lot of stuff in FIFA 21 still to talk about, and there's also stuff for FIFA 23 to talk about. Now, the fact that we're already talking about FIFA 23 is ridiculous, but. I think it was Foot Donk, um, who's quite reliable in terms of any sort of information being leaked or any sort of information being sourced out. He will always have a rough idea of what's going on, but like very similar to sort of Foot Watch, who will always get it right kind of thing. That you kind of would believe it, and so he was saying that the FIFA twenty three is going to be free to play, but also. It looks to be that it could be cross-platform. Now, that could be absolutely massive in two ways for EA. One, the fact that the game is now free is going to mean that people are probably going to spend more on it. If I was getting a game for free and then, you know, the preview packs are still in selection, if you go and pack a preview player and you go and pack, say, Messi at the start of the year, you're going to go and put on FIFA points and buy that pack no matter what. You're going to go, oh, well, the game's free, but... For only fiver or for only 10 quid, I can go ahead and get a Messi and get a load of coins or just have him in the team to start off with. And I think that's really, really clever. But, obviously, the problem with that is, does it mean that, obviously, the game's going to get bigger and a bit more out to hand? Who knows? Hopefully, they can then focus on it being more of an update system kind of thing. Like, so, for FIFA 24 coming out, it isn't a brand new game. It is just, okay, we're updating what's going on. Ultimate team gets a refresh and then you start again. And hopefully it means the game plays better. Who knows? We'll have to see. But obviously that's for one in the very far future. Right now, we're still playing FIFA 21. We've still got tons of stuff to do here. But we're obviously going to talk about FIFA 22 because there is a lot of people leaking stuff right now. And the problem with that is a lot of people are leaking stuff in just terms of trying to get viewers or trying to get follows on Twitter or anything like that. And a lot of it is not true. A lot of the people releasing stuff are unreliable. So you've kind of got to tippy-toe around who's tweeting stuff out or who's releasing stuff. And I think because of that, it's just play it safe of maybe look at, say, Footwatch or someone like foot donk someone who's known to be correct who very seldomly gets it wrong i think obviously that means it's a bit more true when it's coming from them but also just ignore leaks and i think that's what i'm going to start doing for the next few weeks obviously picking what i think is going to be true and picking what i think is going to be false we don't know what's going to happen no matter what anyway so 
we're just going to have to see what happens. Um, but for me in FIFA 22, I would love stuff like card selections or like uh, something like when you have p match attacks and Panini stickers and a collection book. I would love something like that because it suits me very, very well. But at the same time, some things that I would like is just decent gameplay. If you can get good gameplay from EA, I have zero problems with anything else. Obviously, there's a lot changing in terms of, I think every sort of game mode is getting a revamp. So Rivals will be revamped, Squad Battles will be, be revamped. Weekend League is definitely getting a revamp because of the way qualification is going to work. You've got five games to win three and you've got three chances of doing it. So I think it's quite a fun way of qualifying for Weekend League. It could be for me. I don't actually play every weekend league now because we don't qualify. But what it could lead to is we can grind the account better in terms of, okay, now what we can do is we can spend the weekend doing the objective card and say there's three or four objective cards that maybe get upgraded because they put in an XP system. If that was to happen, it would be fantastic because we could go and take someone like Jordan Henderson, who would probably be like 84 rated next year. And then we could upgrade him all the way to, say, a 95 rated card just by playing him in Div Rivals or in Squad Battles or anything like that. That would be fantastic if we could get something like that from EA. But at the same time, I don't really expect anything like that. Um, it is going to be maybe a bit of a letdown in terms of there's a lot of stuff that we want that we're not going to end up getting. But we'll have to see. Obviously, we've still got two months of FIFA 21 left. And in these few months, there's also stuff that I hope for. I hope that we can get more kind of upgradable objectives and just so many more objectives to make me want to go and play the game even more. There is supposedly uh, supposed leaks that we're going to be getting upgradable objective cards, similar to what we had with like Mendy last year and all of them. There is a chance that we could get something like that. Now, that would be great. Because it would be really, really good in terms of, okay, there's actually a lot to play for now. But at the same time, I don't know how true it is because the people that are releasing it aren't somebody that you go with, oh yeah, that, that's going to be true. If it is true, then fair enough, it's going to be fantastic. And there is a possibility that, I was saying in yesterday's video, we could get a Renato Sanchez SBC for his UEL card. But it would also make sense if someone like Renato Sanchez was an upgradable objective and because of that you get an 84 Renato Sanchez you get an 86 Renato Sanchez and then you go get an 89 and then finishing off you get like 93 Renato Sanchez that would be perfect genuinely a perfect way to do it and we could see that we might not see that we'll have to see but there's a few different things here and there that we can get from EA there's a few different things that EA can add in at the end of the game Obviously, one thing that has been added in is the way the preview packs work. We have preview packs and we also have normal packs now. So whether that's EA going, hang on, we're not making as many thief point sales because people are being picky with the packs. Maybe that's why they've added them in, but it could just be EA are just trying to test out a new thing of, right, we'll put in both packs, see which ones sell better. If the non-preview packs sell better then we could see preview packs go it is probably just a lot of trial never for ea similar to how fifa 23 could work if it's going to be free obviously that's something that's definitely going to be trial never because going from releasing a game that's minimum 70 pound to then releasing it completely free i think it's a big big step up and obviously for ea that could mean a few different things in terms of a little bit of loss at the start of it, but could be an overall big gain in terms of the end of the year. We could see over 100 million people buy FIFA 23 or download FIFA 23 because obviously it's free. Right now, I think FIFA 21 did something like 20 million copies. And compared to FIFA 20, I think there was only 10 million. So there's been like a... like. 200% increase in terms of how many people are buying the game and that's just buying the game adding on sort of FIFA point sales and all of that is just absolutely ridiculous so it is just going to be we're going to have to play it by ear we're going to have to see what EA release obviously over the next few weeks we'll be getting stuff like EA play I think the 20th we're getting something 
we're getting something out of a 75 plus pack it's going to be a portuguese right back from leicester fantastic ricardo pereira really really nice card and from our 75 plus pack we have had nothing and we've opened about 15 packs right now ricardo pereira from a 75 plus is very very nice so we are more than happy with that um in terms of his price he's still about 40k so about the price of an 89 rated probably we may not use him because obviously we have Cancelo and so we don't really need Link. so he's probably SBC fodder which is not bad fodder to have but I can't even remember what I was saying yeah that's actually really frustrating because I can't remember the topic of conversation that we had anyway we can move on from that obviously there's a lot that we've spoken about already there's a lot more to speak about as well because obviously we we don't know what's going to happen genuinely we don't know what's going to happen and i think because we don't know what's going to happen it's starting to become hard to predict and stuff that's what i was going to say obviously ea plays coming out 20th of july so in two days time we should have another kind of set of how gameplay is going to work some of the developers are speaking doing an interview so what that will mean is obviously we've got a better understanding of certain dynamics that are going to be needed whether certain skill moves are going to be more overpowered than not obviously they've added in four new skill moves or something like that something that i don't really keep on top of because i genuinely have never learned how to do anything like that so maybe next year it's something that i'll focus on i'll go into like say the practice arena and practice a few moves or go into like i don't know squad battles and we'll go and practice stuff there we'll have to see but hopefully the next month is when we'll get all the information obviously over this next month hopefully we still have footies because we've got 100 cards in packs right now we're then going to have probably another set of 100 and then quite possibly ea could do it again and release another set of 100 so we could have another five weeks of content which would be fantastic because it just means the game maybe doesn't die as quickly obviously it's going to be a lot of repeated content ea are just going to release a lot of the same style of cards a lot of the same style of objectives which is normal because i fully expect that from ea i don't expect them to completely change a promo like team of the season it was very much the same content for five weeks you just got different players in packs and that's what this is going to be and that's no problem the only thing is i would like them to add them to packs because we've packed one one card out of we started on 38 packs. We're, this is going to be our 20th pack that we've opened. And yes, they've been smaller packs. But the only pack that we've got something is a 75 plus play pack. And that really doesn't warrant anything coming out of it. Yes, we had like a Kimmich at the start of the year and all that type of stuff. But really, you shouldn't be hoping that your 75 plus pack will get you something. I know yesterday, Con ended up getting a Lionel Messi out of his very lucky i think maybe we just need to do 75 plus uh, 75 plus packs maybe today we'll get 75 plus picks in the um sbcs especially to grind them they're nice and cheap to do so that'd be nice we do get another board here it is going to be another 83 so we've packed two 83s and ricardo pereira and that is it in 20 packs which is absolutely ridiculous but I guess we can't complain too much. Um, another thing that obviously I was saying about we've got a lot of stuff for the end of FIFA 21. Hopefully, today is the day that we get a lot of the League SBCs back because we have nothing. We have eight League SBCs and I think three more of them go either tomorrow or the day after, which is ridiculous because it's another big chunk of SBCs that we've going that we could quite happily have back that realistically it's doing nothing to ea adding them in obviously yes it means that there is more stuff in packs but right now we're not packing anything so i really don't think the luck and the players are in packs i think a lot of it is down to just the 84 rated sbc picks for footies team one so hopefully 
really from these packs what you want is 81 82 83 and 84 rated players and then from there you just go and put them into the picks if you don't get something usable you go and put that special card in with also those high rated fodder players and then you just rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and i think that's the easiest way of doing it obviously right now for us we're not getting anything so we may be able to get one of these picks done today but i don't even think we'll have chance to because we're doing the icon pick we are going to pretty much finish the club off for anything high rated and um, we've not had any sort of duplicates that we need to deal with that high rated so hopefully these next kind of 10 packs are going to be the big packs we should start seeing boards out of the next few obviously an 85 rated is good that is going to help us um anything behind not really it's a tradable pack so it's not too bad in terms of like 85 rated right now they are selling for about 20k which is i guess if you weren't too bothered about grinding the game and you just wanted to make as many coins as possible to buy players open packs sell them on and then go and buy the players that you want something like an mbabu what if he's like 40k which is a really really good sort of end game card that a lot of people will use still so hopefully you know if you are opening packs this is a way that you can grind it we definitely definitely are going to go and do another spc because 282 rated is way too expensive to get rid of a lot of these are also untradeable every single one of these players in this pack is untradeable we can discard these i'm not bothered by them it is the 282 rated that's probably about 10k so obviously trying to get rid of them it's not worth doing but we'll go and do the 87 maybe I, yeah we should be able to do the 87 which is very nice so if we go here and then throw in payet and then david lind we can throw him up there and we can throw payet in there we've got the chemistry carver howl's going but we don't need him he's just a footies nominee card or black again just don't need him Morata, he's a good card but again, we don't really need him. Obviously, he worked for the Spanish weekend league. In terms of the Serie A, we don't need another striker. In terms of the Spanish team, we are pretty much okay for a start in 11 now. Because we packed Ramos, it does help us out a little bit more. And then DePaul, I've gone through and was able to clear him out of the Argentina and the Serie A team. So, the 87 rated team for this pick is now done, hopefully. We can get the 86 rated done in terms of we'll pack another untradeable duplicate that we can deal with. Obviously, we also have a prime gaming pack. We've got 50k packs. We've got mega packs. We've got all sorts to open. So maybe we'll save something like the ultimate pack for tomorrow's video just to obviously finish off with that. It's nice to obviously have a big pack to finish the video off with. Hopefully today we get some sort of SBC that's like an 85 plus pick that we can do that instead with. But we'll see. It's EA, you never know what we're going to get from them. It's very, very unpredictable. So it is one of them things. But hopefully, as we open this pack, I can add all the kind of extra packs to the spreadsheet. I am running another spreadsheet. So we'll probably go through that over the next few days. Um, just because I, I can't lie, I enjoy doing a spreadsheet. It's really, really boring. But at the same time, I kind of understand the idea behind doing them is really good because it just shows you how much you grind the game or it shows you how much you've added to your club without spending a single dime on fifa i've not put on any fifa points since team of the season or if i have i've maybe put on 10 pounds since team of the season compared to the rest of the year that is just so much less that i really like the idea of doing this spreadsheet it allows me to monitor it it allows me to go i think for the last promo that we did for the summer stars and all of that we could have spent close to i think it was a thousand pounds it was like 900 pounds roughly team of the season was exactly the same amount so in terms of the packs that we've opened equate to about two thousand pounds worth of fifa points if we were to only open them with fifa points which is ridiculous and it's ridiculous we just packed van arnholt like that I don't know where that came from. He's not a board. He's not. He's also not a common card. But this happened a lot with. They never fixed the animation for rule breakers. But. 
Van Arnholt is very nice. We definitely need him for the Dutch team. So that is definitely going to be a positive for us here. Not a bad 45k pack. He is pretty much discarded at 15k. So again, if you ever needed that card, you'd be better going and just buying them instead of trying to pack all these types of cards. But yeah, very, very random pack. Hopefully we don't pack more rule breakers because I like the actual animation of a walkout coming. We don't get anything in this one. It is going to be another board. So hopefully it's duplicate. No, we do get Tadic and Van der Beek, which is very nice. Um, again, all of this is going to eventually go into that prime icon moment pick. I'm tempted to do a reveal on it. Now, I've never done a reveal. So I'd have to... What I'd probably do is I'd stop the video, go and work out how to do the reveal, and then we'll come back and do the pick. I think, do you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to add an extra element into this for today. Hopefully, that's going to be what gives us some ridiculous pack luck. It probably isn't, but it's worth the hope for it. So, yeah, we'll go and do that in a minute. But we've still got seven packs, six packs probably, because we're not going to do the 125k. Obviously, the Twitch Prime pack is where I'm hoping we can get something because of the player pick. Usually, people just get the 83 rated from that, so... It's not the best. An 82 and an 83. Very, very nice. Anything in the back of this mega pack? We do get two Prem players. Now, it does make me think we could probably... Um, one of them's tradable. The other one's Suchek. We could go and do the SBC. Uh, do you know what? We've done 20 minutes of opening packs and I've not done a single SBC. And do you know what? There's no point doing another one. We'll just go and do the SBCs for the icon pick because... That is what today is pretty much going to be solely based on, just doing the icon pick and opening all these packs that we have replenished a lot of the club for obviously players, which is very, very nice because we do need to do that at some point. But the the packs that we've opened and the players that we've got from the packs that we've opened, it's pretty underwhelming, pretty underwhelming. Obviously, we've been able to talk about FIFA 22. We've been able to talk about our plans for the future in terms of what FIFA is going to be like. In terms of me going on in the future for YouTube, I have still no idea what I'm going to do. So we'll come around to that at some point. It's no real big deal right now, but I'll work it out at some point. There we go. Another tradable pack, another 81, 2 and 3, which is ridiculous that we're saying that 81 rated players are fodder right now, but they are because they're expensive. They're about 3k each. This 50k pack, absolutely no walkout from it. It is going to be a Belgium goalkeeper. It is going to be Castile. So if this is untradeable, this will mean the 86 rated team will be ready to submit. But it is a tradable pack. So very nice. It does mean that we can save a lot of duplicate cards. Um, the only thing that I don't want is to go and submit the 86 rated team straight away. Because obviously we've got the prime pack. Unless, actually, here, if we get a duplicate, we don't even get a walkout. We don't even get another special card from the 50k pack. It's going to be a Swiss goalkeeper from Dortmund. It is going to be Berkey. Anything behind. We do get some 81s and 80s, which I feel like we could probably go and do for the icon pick. So what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and submit all of these into the SBC and then we'll come back and we'll do a icon pick reveal and also our Twitch Prime pack. Okay then guys, so this is the team that we're going to submit for the 86 rated team. Giroud is now out of the French team because of Ben Yedder, so we don't need him. Dolberg is also out of the Ligue 1 team because of Ben Yedder and then this Chiesa or Casino, whatever his name is, we don't need him. For the Brazil team, we definitely don't need him. So we're going to go with this. Obviously, you're getting the chemistry with a few of the players that just don't really link together. But it is what it is. That can be submitted. We also get a small prime mixed player pack. Don't know what happened to me there. Um, but we do have that. But we do have the icon moment player pick. Just something usable from EA would be fantastic. Now... 
because we're doing a pick, that means that we're going to do a, a, whatever it is. I can't even remember what it's called, but it means that I have no idea what we're going to get here as well as you. So hopefully if I press this button, the pick should open. It does. So it's a good start. What we're going to do is if we make this a little bit bigger, because obviously I don't want to check. We're going to go with the first card. And we're going to go one, two. We're going to do a bit of a stat reveal. So hopefully, if this is right, yes. So we do have a stat reveal. So to start off with, it is a physical. It is 82 physical. So it's not bad. Currently thinking it's a defender. It's not a defender. So it's an attacker with a lot of physical not a lot of aggression good head and accuracy on him though 90 dribbling okay that's not bad maybe more of a winger i guess he's got 80 passing so it's definitely a striker it's going to be somebody like crespo isn't it 93 shooting if this is like 91 pace or something it's crespo 96 pace maybe it's like Sanchez or someone? Who is it? Ends in an S. <gasps> oh, Fernando Torres. That's good. Oh. That's perfect. That could be fantastic for us. The only reason I won't pick him is if we get a, such a better card. But Fernando Torres is fantastic. That is fantastic. Oh, do you know what? I am more than happy if we only pick Torres. Genuinely only, like, if we only pick Torres, then I have no problem with that. So, another one. Please, you have to be better than Torres. That's too far along. Here we go. Oh, well, it's not starting good with the physical. But, hopefully, it's definitely an attacker who's not very physical. So, it's going to be somebody like a Vieri, I guess. 88 dribbling. 85 passing. It's got to have good shooting. It's only 92 shooting. Maybe something like 90 pace, I guess. Only 84 pace. Ooh, this is not a good one. Yari Litmanen. Well, we're currently on two Liverpool players. So, this is... Yeah, Litmanen is not the best whatsoever. So, I think we should be back. I think the first one was Torres. I think we did it. I'm hoping we did it like this. Yeah, so this was Torres. This was... Litmanen, I think. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, it was Litmanen. So, they're currently our two picks right now. Torres is going to be the one that we pick no matter what. Unless, can EA pull a worldie with this? I think we're on the right screen. Yeah. If we go to here... There we go. Oh, God. It's not starting good. 65 physical. 37 defending. Is this Litmanen again? Okay, so we haven't even left the Litmanen card. If we go like that and then do it. I think we're on to another icon. No, we keep pressing on Litmanen. What am I doing wrong here? Hang on. Oh, because I keep... So that should be on there. And it's this card. Okay. So. This should be the third icon now. I have never done one of these because I have no, no idea what to do. But. 76 physical. Okay. Not the best. 39 defending. 
but he has got good head and accuracy. So it's probably another attacker. 92 dribbling. 74 passing's not the best. 94 shooting. 91 pace. I feel like this is Crespo. It's going to be Crespo, isn't it? It is. So what it does mean is we're kind of lucky because <laughs> we're going to take El Nino. We are taking Fernando Torres. There's no way out of Littman and Crespo and Torres I don't take a Fernando Torres prime moment. It does mean that his mid card is now going to be SBC fodder for us, which is nice. But I'm also tempted not to get rid of it because, well, I've played a lot of games with that card. So I think Torres is now going to replace Kenny Daglich in our main team. Hopefully, he's going to be good. But to kind of finish towards the end of today's video, we are going to finish with our Prime Gaming Pack. Obviously, a long-form video today. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like. Let me know if you've enjoyed it. If you got this far into the video, thank you very much. To finish our, I guess, mini podcasty type video, we do get a walkout in the actual pack. It's not a special card, but it is a Spanish right back from Real Madrid. It is Carver House, so that's very nice. The fact that we've probably got a high rate player in the pack rather than the pick is surprising. But, please, EA, a prime gaming. 83 plus pick is this going to be good well i mean a cheeky kalor navas that's not too bad we'll take it but that's where we're going to leave it for today guys so i'm out peace